Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a makeup look using this beautiful palette. It is also not mine, it is also my sister's, but technically it is mine because I gave it to her for Christmas. So like I could use it because it was my money. I also have a few new little products to try out because I got early birthday gifts and I'm very excited about them. If you're new to my channel and if you do not know me, hi my name is Ezzy and I make beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's just get right on to the video. I'm going to start off with my mini Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This I got as a birthday present for Sephora so it was free. I didn't buy anything but I still got it. This is my first time using this, so I feel so luxurious and stuff. I already like it, and I haven't even put it on my face. <laughs> Are you, I told you I was going to do a makeup look with it. Yes, I did. Or you said, like, I bet you're just going to do a makeup look on that palette, too. And I'm like, yep. This product really sunk into my skin, and I really like the way my skin feels. It feels so luxurious. So now the thing that I'm most really excited about is this mini mini Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer that I have. And then it says to um, press it into the skin. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the pore areas because we don't want the pores. We want to look flawless. This literally made my skin look so smooth or feel so smooth. I really like it. Never again am I using another primer. I have this one. I'll just buy the full size one day when I actually have money. So next I'm going to do my foundation and I'm going to use these two foundations. These are the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula and the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation. This one is too light, this one's too dark, so when we put it together, it's perfect. I actually wanted to use this foundation because I'm going to film a project pan update and this was in my project pan type videos that I'm doing. The only bad thing about this foundation is that it's too light, but everything else, it's fine. So the last video I did, you saw it like two videos ago, and it was a makeup look on a Valentine's Day look, and I didn't really talk because I didn't really do my base on camera. So that was really, it was really different for me, but I don't know. I don't really like doing, not doing my base on camera. It makes me have more time with you guys, even though like it's the same thing like all the time because I'm not changing up my foundation every like two seconds. One day I will. But not today, girlfriend. Maybe I need to put a little bit more of the Maybelline foundation because it's looking a little bright. I'm looking a little ghosty. I'm putting more of the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundation on because I feel like it's a little bit too light right now. I'm not really putting it on for coverage or anything. I just want to put a little bit more color into my skin. I actually have like remnants of yesterday's makeup look that I did on my face still. So like if you see any glitter, I'm sorry, I can't take it out. So the primer and my cream were my only two new products, so I'm sorry, I'm poor, I can't be buying products like that. I'm only going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in this video because it was in my project pan this month and I really want to use it up. We're just concealing everywhere. Apparently people do this thing, I don't even know what it's for, but I'm gonna do it. We're going to blend out the concealer and while we're doing that, we're probably going to do nothing because I don't know what to do. We kind of looking a little cakey. I see YouTubers put like three layers of foundation on and they don't look cakey at all. So hopefully with my camera settings, I don't look cakey because in person, I kind of look cakey. So don't really look so close. We're going to be using our Bare Minerals Invisible Light Powder on the matte side to set our under eyes. We're going to swirl it in little tiny circles because we don't want wrinkles. I'm only 21. Like why people want to give me wrinkles at this age? Now we're going to set the rest of our face with our Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just like all the time because now that I don't have to use my hourglass powder I'm going to use this one because everybody raves about it and I understand why they rave about it because it is a really great powder and it doesn't even cost that much and you know when things don't cost much Leslie likes it you're looking a little mad but that's okay we'll fix it up a little bit now we're going to do our eyebrows with our NYX eyebrow cake powder I should do my eyebrows off camera sometimes but like I always do it on camera Quick poll question, do you brush your makeup brushes right after you use them or the day of? Or do you wait a couple months or weeks or years? For me personally, I waited a couple months, but now I'm like changing my habits. I want to do it every time I do a makeup look or something like that. We trying to keep our brushes clean. There we go. We did our eyebrows. 
Wow. I'm going to put on some contour and you already know which contour I'm going to use. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Powder. It is in the Say Dulce de Leche. We're going to do the hollows of our cheeks. We just bronze it up a little bit and our forehead because apparently it's where the sun kisses you the most. But I'm trying to make my forehead a little bit smaller. I'm going to try to contour our nose a little bit. We want to have a snack nose so i wonder if i contour my boyfriend's nose if it would get skinnier he got that little bump right here and i want to know if any contouring would help that and so now we're going to be using the anastasia sultry palette okay so i'm going to use the color fresh right here just to set all over the lid you want to have a nice basis for her eyeball i feel like in every palette you need a color like this so this is a really nice color to start with so we're going to start off with the color Bloom. It is this pinkish color right here. We're just going to put it all over the crease. So I really wanted to use this color, but like I was debating on it because I want to do a similar peach makeup look with my other palette, but like I'll change it up. Like it doesn't matter. The other palette I'm talking about is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Like you'll see, it has that peach color right here, but this one's a little shimmery. So like I wouldn't use that on the crease. But it smells like peaches. So I'm going to take the color Bloom and continue to put it on our crease. It doesn't really matter where this color hits because it's just a crease color. It's going to be the color that blends all the colors together. I feel like because I don't have really big eyelids, I'm like taking it all the way up here and it kind of looks normal. So like don't mind me. So these colors are pretty interesting. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this color with all the other colors. So I'm just going to take the color twig and put it all over my outer crease because I don't really know what to do. I do like the way it's blending in with the peach color on top. So we're just going to keep going. I do have to say that even though this shade is really pigmented, I do have to build it up a little just so that it could show up on the outer parts of my outer corner because I want it to be dark. I want it to be darker than the crease color and the crease color is really hard to blend with this color. I'm really debating on what color I should do in the inner corner, like the shimmery color, but like I do looks with these type of shades all the time. So it's kind of like repetitive, but like I don't really care. Maybe I'll combine the color teak and rose gold together so we could have like a customized shade, you know. I'm going to take it on a flat eyeshadow brush and first I'm going to put teak on the lid. I like it. This is like one of my favorite copper colors. Then we're going to put rose quartz on top. I really like rose gold colors. They like make my heart flutter. Now we're going to take the color bloom and just blend all of the shadows that we put on our lids together. Okay, so I think this is a really nice start, but I want to darken the outer color with the color twig. I used it on my outer corner before, but now we're just packing a little more on. I'm trying to keep it in the color twig because I don't really want to use this dark brown color and I don't really want to use this slight color and I don't really want to use the black color. So the only option we have is the color twig. And lastly, we're going to use the pearl color on our inner corner. Now we're going to take the fresh color and mix it in with a little bit of the pearl color and put it on our brow bone because we don't need it to be that blinding on our brow bone. I was going to put the bloom color on my lower lash line but that's a little intense and a little too pink so I'm going to put the color birch in our bottom lash line even though we didn't really use the color. Now it's time for liner and mascara and you know the drill with these. I'm going to do it off camera and when I snap and it's going to be on. If you're wondering what I use for liner and mascara it is always the same thing but if I ever change it for some reason like if one runs out or it gets bad I will probably tell you if I bought a new one but this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. This does my winged eyeliner and it's really nice and I also use the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. So lastly we have to do two Two more things and one thing is highlighter i was using an anastasia palette so i was like might as well just use the highlighter as well because this look is a little pinky i'm going to take the color moonstone and mix it in with the color summer just so that it won't be a little dark on me we're going to place it on the tops of the cheekbone and down the center of our face. And last but not least, we're going to put on lipstick. And I felt like this Maybelline Color Sensational lipstick is the perfect lipstick for this look. And this is in the shade Touchable Taupe. So guys, you made it to the end of my video. I hope you like this makeup look with this Anastasia Sultry palette. And the verdict of this palette is that I really 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 like this palette i give it like a thousand thumbs up it does have a few shades that i won't ever use like the cyborg color and the slate color like grays are not my thing if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or a million thumbs up 
And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button that looks like this one. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a video, please hit the bell that's right next to it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.